Assalamu alaikum. My name is Panash Javed and I am from class 5th A. Today I am here to present my science project. I have made a water dispenser. To make the water dispenser we need a plastic bottle and a straw. So now I will tell you how it works. So first we need to open the lid of the bottle. We can see that the water is coming out of the straw. And when we close the lid of the bottle, the water is not coming. So the basic science behind it is that when we open the lid of the bottle, the air enters the bottle that gives the pressure to the water to flow out of the straw. And when we close the lid of the bottle, the pressure is absent so no water is coming out of the straw. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Hamid Bukhari from class 5C and today I am here to present this project of a wind generator. A wind generator is a structure made for generating electricity by using wind as a power source. This display shows that the wind turns the wheels which depending on the speed generates electricity for daily use. This source of energy is renewable so it does not harm the environment. Thank you. I am Zalaya and this is Manal Faisal and we both are here as a representative of Science Corner on the behalf of Grade 8. And we are here to present our model on the topic use of chemical pesticides. So, hello Zalaya. Hi Manal. Is, well, the project is looking beautiful. Thank you. But can you, uh, you know, tell me what its topic is? I have told before it's about use of chemical pesticides. Oh. Well, I have studied about pesticides. Pesticides are such chemicals used to exclude the competition from the crops and exclude such factors that cause harm to the crops. Exactly, and those substances are known as pests. And pests, like they are small mm -hmm. organisms or insects that are harming the crops. So in order to kill those pests, pesticides were introduced. Oh, so I've heard that there are many kinds of pests. So can you elaborate that? Well, there are so many types of pesticides in the world, but the one I'm going to focus on are three uh, herbicides, fungicides, and insecticides. And I'm also going to give short explanation to these. Herbicides are used to kill weeds that come in contact with plants or crops to take in light, mineral, or water. If we talk about fungicides, fungicides are used to kill fungal competitors to the crops. And about insecticides, insects are a very big problem to the crops. So, in order to kill those insects, insecticides were introduced. Okay. And every time uh, these pesticides also have advantages and disadvantages. So can you uh, continue telling us the advantages of using these pesticides? Sure, Zanera. Well, the pesticides actually decrease the amount of diseases in the crops. Also, they create a larger harvest for the and food production to the farmers, which increases their budget. That's very beneficial, right? Yeah. Oh. But as everything has its advantages, there are many disadvantages as well. So can you elaborate that? There are uh, so many disadvantages of uh, using these chemical <coughs> pesticides as uh, these pesticides include chemicals which are harmful for the ecosystem and as well as for the marine life. So when we add these pesticides to, the, uh, to our land, the fertility of the soil is um, affected and also uh, we use these pesticides just to kill the pests that are harming the crops, but non-targeted plants and also uh, useful insects such as ladybirds or honeybees are also killing as a result. And uh, the uh, declining uh, honeybees can also uh, also result in declining pollination. And also oh. seeps into the groundwater. And there's still some people today that rely on ground uh, water for drinking. So that's also very uh, harmful for the people to drink and can also cause serious health problems like respiratory illness, cancer, and even reproductive issues. Oh. Yes. Well, um, so I've heard about a bad insecticide, DDT, which is short for dichlorodiphenylpriethane. Well, its chemical composition is chlorine, ethane, and phenyl. It is known as a bad insecticide because it builds up and it is not biodegradable. So it builds up in the fatty layers of animals and large amount of DDT in the fatty layers of animals causing their death. Yes, and also uh, you must be wondering what's the difference between insecticide and DDT, mm -hmm. which is that insects. Insecticides only kill the insects that are harming the crops, but DDT does not only do that, but also that live up humans, for example, lice or mosquitoes. Oh, so can you uh, show the working of this project? Yes, sure. First of all, as you told before, that DDT is not biodegradable, it does not decompose into the soil. So when it rains, the pesticides washes into the water bodies or you can say eventually makes their way to the water bodies. And now the water body is contaminated and the aquatic animals are also in danger. 
and also it causes <coughs> surface runoff. So, uh, this even though it's uh, very harmful to use these uh, use this insecticide, people are still using this because this fights against malaria. So there is a solution to it. Mm -hmm. We should use biological control, and it is a process and procedure in which we use natural predators to actually kill the pests in the crops. Also, its advantages are that the insects do not build resistance to it and you don't have to breed them. Exactly. They breed themselves. Exactly. So I think so pe people should use more of these than the normal pesticides. They have to be careful. Yes. Everything has a negative or positive impact. Yes.